In this video, we're going to begin to take a look at mixed numbers. A mixed number is simply a combination of a whole number plus a fraction. And it's important that that fraction represents a value that is smaller than 1. For example, we might have 5 wholes and maybe 2 thirds as a part, being 5 and 2 thirds, 5 wholes and an additional 2 thirds of the cake or whatever we're talking about. Often with mixed numbers, it's useful to be able to convert back and forth between mixed numbers and fractions. Really simply to convert a mixed number to a fraction, what we will do is multiply the denominator times the whole number and add the numerator. This is going to equal the new numerator. So you might say the denominator times the whole number plus the old numerator. So for example, with this 5 and 2 thirds up here, we would multiply the 3 times the 5 to get 15 and add 2 to get 17 and that would be 17 for the new numerator over 3. To convert the other way, to convert a fraction to a mixed number, what we'll do is take advantage of the fact that that fraction bar represents division. We divide. When we divide, we'll end up with a whole number answer and some remainder. So we'll put the remainder as the new numerator, the remainder over the original denominator. So for this example of that we were just looking at these 17 thirds, we could divide the 3 into 17. 3 goes into 17 5 times and when we subtract 15, we see there's a remainder of 2. Whoops. 3 goes into 17 5 times 5 with a remainder of 2. There we go. And so we take the whole number 5 and the remainder goes up 2 over the original denominator and you see that's the same original 5 thirds we started with. So let's try a few examples where we make these conversions between mixed numbers and fractions. Here we have 28 fifths and we want to change this into a mixed number. The fraction bar really represents division. So we're going to divide 5 into 28. Very important that the bottom number goes out front. 5 goes into 28 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25 and so when we subtract, we end up with a remainder of 3. The whole number then becomes the whole number of my mixed number. The remainder becomes the numerator of my mixed number over the original denominator of 5. We have 5 and 3 fifths for our equivalent mixed number. Let's try one that goes the other way. Let's convert the frac... the mixed number 7 and 3 fourths into a fraction. We recall to do this, we want to multiply the denominator times the whole number and then we will add to that the numerator. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31 over the original denominator, over the original denominator of 4. And that gives us our equivalent fraction for the mixed numbers 7 and 3 fourths. To convert a mixed number to a fraction, we multiply the denominator times the whole number and add the numerator. To convert a fraction to a mixed number, we simply divide the numbers and the remainder is the new numerator.